It's laundry day for you. Okay. <laughs> laundry day. I do laundry every Sunday and that keeps me from having to do it too much. Are you one of those people who my ex would put off doing laundry for like a month and then have to spend an entire day doing laundry? Is that, is that a thing that people do? I couldn't imagine having to devote an entire day to laundry. That doesn't sound fun. <laughs> I always thought she was crazy. I was like, why don't you wash your clothes more? You shut up. What's up, Explosive Ash? How are you doing, my friend? Apparently, apparently that's how some people do laundry. They put it off for as long as possible. That's probably, that's what I do with dishes. I leave dishes until the last possible moment, but that's because I'm by myself and I don't create that many dishes and I don't really have to do dishes that much, so... Uh, you kind of have to do that simply because you have to use the apartment's machines, which are pretty damn expensive. Oh, really? Well, I use the apartment machines, too. It's like two bucks, two fifty to do laundry every time, so two fifty a week, I feel like, it's not that expensive. Uh, but yeah, it, it is, it is a pain to have to use, like, apartment things. I, I, I definitely agree with that. Alrighty, so we are playing some Satisfactory last week, or last week, two days ago. We got our train going, and our train is getting steel and stuff, so I think what we're going to do today is we're going to work on getting more... We're going to get all those resources that we started, so we basically need to create a bunch of... Um... Foundries, smelters... Miners, All right, so I need, um, I need the small... I need like a couple stacks of modular frames. Uh, for foundries, miners, and I think it's mainly just those to get to get the resources we want to bring. Because we're going to be doing some automating soon, but we want to get... The whole goal of getting the train was we get a whole crap ton of... Uh, of raw resources, so... Alright, let's see here. Let's get some of these guys. We just need a lot of, a lot of random resources here. Okay, that... Uh, do 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 do. Get that guy. All right, so I need the modular frames. How are we doing on rotors? Not doing great. Get a stack of all these random things. These guys. Man, I just got a, an upgrade to my pack space, and I feel like uh, I need more. I feel like I need more pack space. 100. I'm gonna do three stacks of those. You can never have enough interdimensional portals or whatever these things are called. Okay, so this one, two. And let's see here. Steel pipes. Let's finish out this stack. There. Okay. Let's go up to the next floor because I think I need some other stuff. This is very soothing music, man. It's so soothing. Oh god, and I need lots of concrete. I don't have room. Uh, oh, you know what I have? I have a bunch of freaking coal and iron ore in my inventory. Let's get rid of that. That's why. I was like, surely I have more inventory space. Surely! Don't call me Shirley! And you don't. Oh wait, no, yes you do. Alright, so we need to throw this, 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 and this in there. Um, how many tickets do we have? I wonder. 40 printable coupons. Nice. If only I thought I needed those for anything, it'd be super useful. Right, we need a lot of concrete because we, we, when we build, um, when we build, uh, foundries and stuff, we'd like to have a nice, nice big foundation for that. Okay. So that's good. Let's get some more industrial beams. And then that's probably good for what we need, I think. I think I'm doing decent on resources if I get the encased industrial beams for the tier 4 uh, Mark 4 belts, whatever they're called. Uh, what about staters? Do I need staters? No, I don't. I already have a stack of those. Which I actually don't think I probably need a stack of those, do I? Damn it. Uh... This was completely full, and now I have a stack. All right, well, I guess I'm throwing those in the, uh, <laughs> into the, uh, whatever it's called. Throw those into the 
place down here. To the uh, awesome sink here. All right, staters, don't need you. I'm actually gonna throw both of these in here because I don't think I need those for anything. Hopefully, famous last words, I won't need them uh, like immediately. Let me check for miners. No. Foundries, no. Those, no. Foundries. Actually, if I do a bunch of foundries, I'm gonna need more rotors too. So let me get let me get an extra stack of rotors. So no staters, but extra stack of rotors for sure. Rotors are one more stack of these guys and one more stack stack of rotors. How many motors do I have? There. Yeah, I think the rotors are down here. Yeah, there they are. I see a rotors. I see a rotors. I see ya. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go build some stuff. So basically, last week, we got a whole bunch of Caterium incoming. We got some steel incoming. I think I wanted to increase my steel production, I think, to start out. Ooh, I can actually use my steel uh, little tube here to get me closer out there. What? Oh, are you not powered? What is this? Uh, okay, I don't have room for that. All right. I guess I unplugged this at some point. Before I go in here, let me check my power here. How are we doing on power-wise? 4,600. Spiking around 47 to 4,800. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. How are y'all doing out there? How is everybody out in, in Twitch land doing? What games are y'all playing lately? When I've not been streaming, I've been scratching my MMO itch lately with uh, playing some City of Heroes. What have y'all been up to? Who's, who's playing some good games? Who's playing some good games out there? I could probably even upgrade this steel production, but this is not part of what we're working on today, so we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. Alright, so... We are attempting to... Uh, let's let's go look at this steel production we started last week. I wonder how you're supposed to even use this uranium. I guess there's nuclear power, but I'm gonna guess that maybe it's not something that's automated yet, since that's a bunch of uranium, but you can't actually mine it, I don't think. I don't think there's a place to put mining on that. Okay, let me remind us. Mind me what you, we're working on here. So this is 300 iron per minute. I think we have 300 coal per minute. Per minute. So we're uh, we're smelting the 300 iron per minute. We are mining. Let's check this. 300 coal per minute, and we are smelting 300 per minute and 300 per minute into how much steel per minute is what I want to know. Uh, 60. 60 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Did I have enough? 60 times 8. No, 60 times 8. 480 a minute. So this is actually, yeah, this is smelting slightly more than... Well, wait. 40 per minute times 8 is... 40 times 8. 320, we're supplying 400 minutes. So actually I need two more smelters, I think, right? 320, and each of these does 40 of each. 40 of each. So we can supply two more, two more smelters, and I just ran out of materials. So that's what we want to do. We want to get two more smelters set up here. Uh, foundries, I, I keep saying smelters, foundries. And we will have... We will be doing, we will be using the steel that we are, or the uh, materials we are producing currently here. Hey, what's up, Fifon? I'm doing pretty well, my friend. How are you doing? How are you in this fine Thursday? It's Thursday. I was thought, I thought it was Wednesday for a second earlier. Okay, so we want foundry and foundry. So two foundries. What I've been doing was going... 
Like this, I believe. Where are you? There. And then there. Making solid steel ingots and solid steel ingots. Uh, okay, so I'm going to need another... I'm going to need another splitter here. I'm doing great, Fifon. How how are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? So basically, I need to split this up again. So if I put a splitter there and have it go into there and I can split, that'll be what I need to do, I think. So let's do, do this. What am I doing now? Uh, we are working on, you know, we created our train last week. So I'm now working on getting all the resources going into that train. That's what I'm working on. Okay, so this one's going to be able to go from here and here. I just think I'm going to need to do another splitter to get this. Uh, actually turn this a different direction. So five splitter. Turn it this way. That'll make it easier to get in here. So... That one will go in there, this one will go into there, and then if I start a new one... Which do I want to set up for a new one? Because we have more coal. We actually have more coal, so I could do even more steel production. I feel like I should do as much steel production as I can. Because I don't know what other... Let me look at a manufacturer. Like, what would be the next build I would do? Uh, oh, I saw, I saw that fit somewhere. Or was it? I just saw it. Where are you? I know there's somewhere I can place yet. Approaching others clearance. I thought I saw. Okay, I can put it over here. Because after we do get all these resources, what other things would I want to build is the question. Uh, Supercomputers, probably, which... None of that uses steel, except for maybe the uh, casted steel screws. Modular engines. Usually uh, motors. Uses all things we've made. Adaptive control units, heavy modular frames. Uses that gas filters. We've almost automated everything, actually. Supercomputers and these two things are the only things I haven't automated. I mean, not counting gas filters. I don't think I've automated these. So there are a couple things we need to automate. I might not need as much steel as I'm thinking, but I kind of want to... I think there was another iron thing down here I was going to use, right? Yeah, there's a pure iron I was going to use to even do more steel, I think. What would happen if the Lanius visited your factory and started eating all my metal? Um, I would have to... I'd have to take that guy out. I'd have to take him out. Um, let's see here. So this is going to use all of these materials. So I guess I don't actually need another splitter. This is, this is going to be enough for now. So this and this, I think those were tier four belts. Tier four or tier three. Let me see here. I think those are tier three actually. Uh, but you know what, since I'm doing another split, let's do tier four just to make sure. They're there. Crap, I didn't do the other splitter on top. There. Okay, and there to there. And then this can be a Mark III, I believe. There to there. There to there. And then this can be a Mark I. Since this is using up all the materials that we are... creating there, this will be the last foundry for this setup. Oh, but I couldn't have picked up any of those iron ingots or anything. Okay. Do I need to pick these up and put them in somewhere? I can't pick you up. I am so completely full of stuff that this is just going to float there. It's fine. It's fine. And then we need the outputs and we need to power these guys. So this guy will go in between these two. God, frickin', frickin' Lanius eating my stuff. Don't eat my stuff, Laniids. You Laniid 
lineage craziness. Don't eat my stuff. Um, so I'm going to need another merger here. <laughs> Which means more stuff on the ground, damn it. Okay, so we're going to do this. This. And so that will be Mark three belts here. Mark three. Mark three. There. And then mark, uh, how many you do in a minute? 60, so mark one belt. And lag, okay. All right, there we go. And then this is some steel that I can't pick up. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of crab lying on the ground because I'm just completely full of, full of it, full of stuff. Why aren't you going at full? You're actually not getting coal fast enough. The distribution of these resources is going to be a little funky because we have it split up in all these different directions. Um, but we now have enough refining that all of the stuff we're making, it's like 400, 300 stuff and we have 300 stuff. That makes sense. All these will not be running quite at full capacity just because of the travel uh, travel time, I guess. Let me throw, let me throw something on the ground here real quick. Let me grab coal. This will help jumpstart these guys over here. Do that. And then there was some iron over here as well. Grab the iron. And 76, 35, do that. This one's getting plenty of resources, it looks like. It's, I guess, the way this is distributing this is a little funky. Why is that not splitting these evenly? Why is more going that way than going this? Oh. Oh, this is feeding three. And it's getting less. Okay, that's not how we want this to do. We want... Well, I don't want to do this. Because this one's always going to have plenty, and then these guys are always going to not have quite enough, it's looking like. Okay. What are you... Oh, well, you're backed up. I guess the steel is actually backed up right now. Well, as the steel back up, backs up, that's actually good for us. Because that'll let these things catch up, so... This game have a have an end story or a goal? Uh, currently, no. It's, it's still in early access, so there's no end story or goal yet. Uh, as far as I know, you just build stuff until you get to it, the max tier of stuff. So currently, no. I don't know of a m max goal right now or a uh, current end game thing. Currently, it's all about just you know. Uh, Sending resources to space to your parent company that hire, that you work for or something like that. Um, okay, so that is steel and that is caterium. It's being set home. I wanted, I think, to do limestone here. Because the materials I want to do were copper. Where do I do a copper here? We have a pure limestone, so I want to do limestone down here, I think. So we'll do iron and... Limestone down so there. So we're going to do... We want to send some copper back to our base now. So that'll be the third material we send uh, at this to this station. So where is that copper? Over here somewhere. You should watch a YouTube video about a guy who ported a Wii... Uh, Wii game to the NES. Retro City Rampage. Okay. Interesting. Uh oh, there's the copper. I see I put a miner on it already. Who ported a Wii PS3 Xbox 360 PC game to the NES. It's... Okay, that's that's weird. I don't know how that works, but okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> pretty cool. Alright, so we want to... Um, grab this. I can't pick that up because I don't have space for it. So we want to basically 
smelt this. We can smelt this kind of right here. So I'm gonna need to turn this. Let's make some uh, let's make some platforms here. Because we're gonna do the smelting and then send it out that way. Sounds impressive. I have no idea what that entails, so. I'd even do that from a 1.3 gigahertz CPU to a 1.3 megahertz CPU. <laughs> yeah. It sounds impressive. It sounds super cool. Um, we're going to have some trees in the way. Actually, what I can do is I can have it go out this way and then send it out that way. So we can have this go sideways. Do I have any room? I do have room. Uh, let's do a little bit more of these guys. So I think what I'm going to do is... We need to smelt this like I sometimes forget to do. So we're going to have a splitter, and we're going to split to the different things. So we're going to start we'll have our first smelter be right here. This will smelt our smelt our copper before sending it to the base on, on site smelting. It's the wave of the future on site smelting. Is that right? It's almost right. Needs to be there, I think, is where I want it to be. Yep, that's in the middle. So, Schmelta. Schmelta. Schmelter, I hardly know her. Mm -hmm. So, I think we're going to do... If these are copper, I think it's going to be 30 a minute, right? So, if I'm doing this overclock to 300, we're going to need 10 smelters. So, can I pick this up without losing materials? Nope. Miners and steel things, so let's make some more of these guys. Uh, and from 64-bit graphics to 2-bit graphics for context modern graphics card display in 256-bit graphics, sometimes even 512-bit. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know how you would do something like that, but how did it look? I mean, if you watched the video, did it like show? Did the NES version of the game look like the... You know, Wii U Xbox version, or was it like a really pixelated version? I mean, how... What does it even look like? <laughs> I hear a train going by. That's super cool. Uh, I see smelter, so I need space for two things here. Space for one thing. Hey, what's up, silly hat man? What's the word? You want to see FTL on SNES now? <laughs> Where is that guy that was making battlegrounds to SNES? Huh? It did. What? It, it did what? Did it look like it looked like the the full game? I guess the full correct game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only need one more, so this will be the last one. So re smelter. <laughs> Refinery? No, resmelter. Okay, so I'm looking to get one more open space before I can pick this up and put the miner in place. So let's get the um let's get the uh splitters in place here then. Splitter. Put it right in the middle here. Looks good. So one, two, three, and then this guy's the middle guy. Two, three. And then one, two, three. And we'll have to do an extra one behind this guy. I'm not exactly sure how to... What is it called? Um, this this type of... <laughs> splitting of materials is called manifold, I, or the other one. Whatever it is. I don't know how to evenly distribute it between... This many things here. You guess the main limitation of porting FTL to an actual retro console is the resolution, 720p. They had to cut off some detail because of the file size limits. NES carts max at 8 kilobytes anymore. You need the ability to swap between different read-only memory banks. Which that makes me think of... Um, those PS1 games where you'd have to switch CDs... When you, you know, got to a certain part, get to, like, switch CDs. 
you have to switch cartridges for next part of the game or something. Go there. There. Probably get get away with downscaling to 480 on on uh, FTA you're talking about. The Wii U runs at 480. Really? Wii U low resolution. Why? Why so low resolution? That'll cover that, and then we do the Mark One belt here to get to there. The Wii don't run 480. It don't have leg. What? Uh, both parts are in the same cartridge. FTL could fit on a CD. <laughs> Right, do I have two spaces? I have two spaces. I can finally pick this up. Good. Grab all. And this needs to be a minor mark two. Um, and this is going to go to a splitter. Do it, do it in between there, I think. You're going to be going at 300 a minute, right? One, two, three. Oh, wait, this is a pure one. So I could get even more than 300 a minute. What What, what could I max out at? 600 per minute. That's a lot of copper. <laughs> All right, so that would be... This is for 300 a minute. So I would need 20 smelters. I don't have a belt that can handle that. Uh, was it 400 a minute that my belt can handle? Check. 480. 480 divided by 30. So 16 smelters, and if we do 480. So let's overclock this to 480. There we go. We'll do that. Overclock it to what our belts can handle here. The most a uh, most a belt can handle that we got our, our highest tier belt. So Sixteen smelters. All right. Well, this is going to change then. Well, maybe I can be able to figure out my distribution with the sixteen of these. So that's currently two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need six more smelters. Whew. It's going to be a lot of copper. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, not the Wii U, the Wii, the Wii U ran at 1080p. Okay. Do I have an SNES? No. I, uh, back when I was a kid, I did. But I don't, I mean, if I ever want to play an SNES game, you know what they have nowadays? They have, oh. What are they called? Emulators. That's what my brother, that my brother and I have been, uh, he's been playing, like I've been talking about, Ogre Battle, an old school SNES game that I've been watching him play on like Discord and stuff. And uh, he plays it on an emulator. I feel like it's even harder to even just get SNES stuff nowadays than just getting, a, getting an oh, emulator. Hey, thanks for the host, Wooden Plank. Just downscale the graphics a bit and you could have FTL for the PlayStation. Though you need to optimize memory usage big time. Preloading events and assets would be out of the question on old consoles with very little RAM. A lot of these things like preloading and caching, and so I don't really even know what that means. So <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, you would totally have to do that stuff that y'all are talking about. That sounds, sounds like stuff you'd have to do. Totally have to do that. All right, so splitters now. Splitter, but I just met her. Okay, so one, two, three. Still has one extra guy out here at the end. 16, so how do I split these? One, two, three. One, two. Well, if I do the splitter that goes to these guys, I have to throw them. Go. Okay, this will work. This will work. So I need to have... Basically, this guy needs to split in... Two splitters, right? So it'll be three to there and three to there. Okay, so we're gonna need a splitter in front of one, two, three. So this guy right here. Okay. 
Okay, so split her here. That's a lot of smelters. It's a lot of smelters. You ain't lying. So I'll split to these three guys. And then we need one to split to... These three guys. I change how often this thing auto saves. You can do that in the other game. Gameplay. Auto save intervals. Yeah, it's too it's too it's too short. Do it do like 30 minutes. I type this in 30 minutes? Okay. I love I love hearing the train go by, that's so cool. Okay. So splitter. Okay, right there. Alright, so that guy will split to those three. This guy will split to these three. And the original splitter is gonna have one extra that goes to the very end one over there. Okay, okay. So let me get these all plugged in. And so if this is supplying to... Okay, I need to figure out my belt numbers here. You're supplying to... 3, 6, 9. 9 times 30. 270. So I need Mark IV belts going... From... God, do I do the... Did I do the math on this right? I think I did. So I need a Mark IV belt going... Uh, well, this is only supplying to 3. So 3, so 90. This can be a Mark III belt here. Sorry, I gotta do some math, everyone. Mark III belt to supply there. Teach it these guys. So these can be Mark III's. The one load supplying each of these guys gotta be a Mark IV, though. Uh, there, I think that should be right. Uh, even games like Crash Bandicoot, they would load the level as you went through it. With cartridge games, on the other hand, you just access the cartridge like you'd access memory. So loading stuff wasn't as big as you there, but capacity was. Okay. Uh, is this right? Crap, I have this... Oh, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. I needed to go over one. Because this one needs to go to this guy. And that's what it was. That guy was going to split to the third guy there. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three... Okay, so this actually needs to be over a space. Be in front of this guy. Right here, splitter. Right in the middle there. And then this would be the Mark III belts going to each of these guys. There. There, and this one only needs 30 or minutes, so this can actually just be a tier one tier one belt going to there. While well, we do these guys here. This is copper. This is just copper. It's gonna be way hopefully more way way more copper than I'll need for anything else anymore. But basically I wanna fill my train with resources. I wanna fill my train with raw resources so that I don't have to um I need to move these guys again. So I don't have to... Um, hopefully go out and gather any more resources for the next couple of, you know, projects I'm working on, basically. Okay, that should be everything. Now I just need a splitter that splits between this guy and this guy, and that's going to be a Mark IV. So we're going to go... Minor Mark II, turn it this way. We're going to overclock you to 480. And then use tier three belts, or tier, tier four belts to send to that one and to that one. So I need a splitter here. So we'll do a splitter like right, uh, like right here, something like this. And Mark four belt goes from there to there, and then Mark four goes from here into there. And then here, all the way down to 
into this guy if it'll go. I think it might not reach that far, huh? Yeah, okay, so go to like here. Okay, so that should hopefully do enough stuff. So I need to power all this stuff and tell it what it's making. Copper ingots. Um, let's see here. You're going to take a look at FTL and Ghidra and just see how many changes you need to make for console port. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, around now, this is an intervention. You have a real problem. You need to stop doing math on stream. <laughs> Am I going to have an overflow to do an awesome sink at my train station? Um, I don't think I want to do that. Silly hat man. For raw resources, I would actually be okay with them backing up. Overflow for the final product I think is good. For the raw resources, I actually want them to back up because then that means I'll have a... It'll back up all the way back to the original raw resource which will mean we'll have excess for when we use it if that makes sense It'll, it's basically more more storage kind of thing if that makes sense so uh what does the mercer sphere even do and the green energy slug for the manor uh the green energy slug gives you when you you can turn them into power shards and power shards are how you overclock your machines uh, Mercer Spheres, I don't know what those do yet. I don't think they do anything yet. What's up, Shogi? How are you doing, sir? I enjoyed our meeting yesterday. It's so cool to me to see, um... Shogi's, uh, like, creating a game. We're gonna be playing... Tomorrow night is... Is Shogi's RPG that we're gonna be, uh... Playing again. Starting up again. And it's cool to me to be a part of the process of creating a new RPG. Especially since I'm such a noob to RPGs. It's like creating new mechanics and all that kind of stuff. All right, I need a power line I can grab off of. What's up, Contasul? Mercer Spheres all have work in progress on them, and they're not done yet. Yes, Mercer Spheres and one other thing. There's another thing called something. I forget what it's called. There's a couple things with work in progress labels on them because they're still being worked on. They're in the progress of being worked on, strangely enough. Yeah, let's get power over here. Is it a JRPG style? Uh, it's a tabletop. I don't know. I don't know if that would be considered JRPG. It's post-apocalyptic. Shogi can definitely describe it. Since he is the creator of and GM and mastermind. Yeah, it's gonna be, I think this is here good. Is this good? Yeah, that should be without anything overlapping. Uh, it'll be right. Come hang out tomorrow and you can see. Shameless self plug. Well, shameless shogi plug. Okay, right here. Some of the mechanics you create are based on how you guys play the characters. So you all especially have provided information influence on changes. Nice. So, me stealthing all the time is going to make you go, okay, well this stealth is too overpowered. Uh, yeah, futuristic sci-fi fantasy. It's a good description of it. Oh, and Shogi, I do need to get, I need to email you because... My friend who wants to do that Curse of Strahd campaign that we're going to do on stream uh, sent me stuff to start creating characters, so guess what I'm going to create? A bard. Big surprise. going to be a bard. But uh, if you want to, if you want to, I think you said you were interested in doing that. I, I need to, uh, like, get you all connected on email so you can get, like, character creation started and all that kind of stuff. I think it's going to be in September when we start, so we have time. There's no rush on that. Okay, there we go. How much power are we using right now? Spiking up to... Uh, well, I think some things are shut down. Probably a lot of the things we're doing is backed up now, but... All right, so now we need to merge all these and send these over there. You made a second hyperspace ship, and it's a bit of a meme ship. Okay. 
Yeah, I need to do that this weekend too. So this Saturday I gotta work on creating a bard and I need to um, get hyperspace working. Those are the two things I need to do this Saturday. On my day off! On my day off. Do more work. A warrior bard? Terry Crews with a loot meme here. <laughs> you would absolutely love to participate. You'll create a druid or paladin. Ooh! We're, I, apparently paladins are gonna be really good for this campaign. So if you do paladin, that would be awesome. Because, um... She told me that um, clerics and paladins would be especially strong in this campaign because it's like, apparently this is like some sort of vampire campaign or something. So, holy warriors like paladins and um, clerics are supposed to be really strong, I think she said. One, two, three. So, one, two. So, this will be a merger here. There. And then one, two, three. So, be here. And then one, two, three. And this will have to merge into another one. You love pallies? Count Strahd as a vampire lord? Okay, have you played this campaign before? Uh, the Vented is your meme ship. <laughs> the Vented. Hashtag The Vented. Long time ago, we didn't get far into it. Okay. I'm looking forward to it, because for one thing, I've never played real d and I've played Lord of the Rings RPG, and I've played your RPG now, but I have never played actual D&D, &D, so I'm excited. Uh, when I told her I wanted to make a bard, she sent me a video, a YouTube video on, like, uh, you know, like some D&D &D YouTube channel where they tell you uh, tips on making a D&D &D bard and stuff, so I'm like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because the bard, the D&D &D bard was the inspiration or basis for the, um, or the EverQuest Bard, I believe, and so... So one, two, three, one, two, three, so I only need two more murders here. So I'm hoping I can get my EQ Bard fix from playing the D&D &D Bard, is what I'm hoping. So one, two, three, so this one will be here. All right, so these are 30 times three, so this is 90, so we're gonna do Mark three belt here. And for those who are D&D fans, what I'm talking about is actually something I plan on doing on stream. Um, GM friend of mine wanted to do this campaign and wanted to stream it. And she said we could stream it on my sh on my stream if I wanted to. So we're going to hopefully starting in... It's looking pretty likely to happen. That starting in um, starting in September at some point on Sundays, we're going to do... Uh, I'm gonna do a D&D &D stream on on Sundays, so that should be fun. Curse of Strahd campaign is the plan. For those who are D&D &D fans, should be should be a fun, a fun new thing to do on stream. I'm excited about it. Uh, does she know what version rule set? I think it's five. I think it's fifth edition. I think that's what she told me they're using. I don't know a lot of that stuff, but I think that's what I've been hearing. What's up, Kenny? Is she okay with you joining? Yes, I asked her about it. And she said, uh, I'm pretty sure she was cool with it. So I will, uh, what I will do is I'll send an email to both of you to like introduce you to each other and then get, um, get her connected with you so that, um, start on like character creation, all that stuff. Okay, so merger. Okay, my freaking audio. There it is. Okay, so these need to be Mark IV belts. How are you doing, Kenny? There, Mark IV. There, Mark IV. And then this is going to be a Mark IV belt going all the way over there, which I probably am going to run out of stuff for, but let's, let's find out. You have the 5th edition book? Nice, nice. Very cool. I might need to get your help on some stuff then, because there's a lot of things like what what spells I choose as a bard and stuff that I'll need to look up. Maybe there's online resources for that. I bet there's online resources for D and D stuff like that too. But maybe maybe I have to would have to like buy the online book or something. Okay, there. Can I go up. I can. She ran. Got a new girlfriend. No, no. This is a uh, this is a girl who. Is a D&D fanatic who runs Dungeons and Dragons games that uh, my f 
my brother met in a, a nerdy group that he joined that I've been playing Lord of the Rings RPG with, and she uh, wants to start a D&D &D game. And we're going to stream it on my stream on Sunday starting in September. Se September. Okay. All right. And so then we're going to go into, we're going to go into this guy here. Last D&D you played was the 3.5 edition. You haven't played an RPG in years. You're always the DM. Nice. Nice. We get to see Shogi as a, as a player instead of a, a non-player. Okay. Uh, we should definitely do a meeting soon and we can build our characters together. We can build some kind of backstory. Ooh, that would be cool. A paladin and a bard traveling together. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. And uh, we can. I'm also need, gonna want to get your help on how you do your setup for your um, um, having your Discord. Uh, how you do your camera stuff for the Discord? Now that's interesting. It's showing a curved or an angled green line there. That's cool. Because uh, getting the camera set up is gonna be interesting. Since I've never done a multi. I've never broadcast multiple people talk, talking on my screen outside of just, or on my stream outside of people just talking in Discord, basically. All right, so we're going to split this. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do this. Actually, it's probably just better if I just do this, right? Yeah, there we go. All right, so we have copper... Caterium and steel, and those are all backed up until the train. Oh, so this train is going to pick up stuff. So this is just to give you all an idea what what the hell we're actually doing here. When this train pulls into the station, all these materials that it's collected are going to get grabbed by these arms, loaded on the train, and then it goes to the next station, ultimately going back to our factory over there. Uh oh, I'm standing on this. Okay, it doesn't pick me up, does it? No. Okay. So it's loading that. Oh, these things are both full. So apparently I am full of steel and caterium back at our base. All right, cool. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. We got copper, steel, caterium. Now we just have iron and limestone. Um, let's go build, at least get started on those last two things. I'm gonna have, probably have to go back to my base for more resources to create this stuff, but. Bard and a traveler walk into the bar. <laughs> walk into the bar, duh. I should have I should have ridden the train over there. Oh well. We can work on the setup as well. Cool. I will definitely be using your expertise expertise since you've I know you always it's always kind of a pain for you setting up the cameras every time we do the stream, so I kinda wanna see if I can do it in a way that it won't be as much of a pain, but we'll have to see. Because what I have a feeling is going to happen is, unlike your games where we always have the same number of people, I have a feeling the number of people might change from one game to another, so It'll make it probably kind of a pain to get set up. So I have a pure iron vein here that I'm not using. Oh, I left I left that copper. Let me go get rid of that. So I don't think that's a healthy uh, beacon by the copper. I don't want to think that that's a beacon that I have not uh, got resources from yet. Your last time you played, you were a warrior halfling that used a big axe, a human axe. <laughs> that's funny. Definitely, I'm definitely going to be a half-elf bard. I know it's probably cliche for bards, but that was what my bard was in EQ, and I just, I love half-elves. It's only a pain when people get switched around or drop out of the call. Yeah. Well, and what I'm hoping will be the case is I think I'm only going to have to use cameras for probably me, you, and the DM, because I don't know if the other people are going to use cameras. So the other people would probably just like have a picture of their character in place, that which might be easier. So we have pure iron right here. We have limestone here, and we have pure iron here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to grab the limestone from here and the iron from here and ship them there. So let's start with the uh, limestone over here. You want to be a dwarf pally? Ha <laughs> ha nice. Dwarf paladin sounds awesome. What's up, Chuck frickin' Norris? How are you doing, sir? I'm playing Satisfactory while we talk about D&D. &D. What's going on with you? <laughs> D&D &D discussion while we play a totally different game. 
All right, where is this uh, limestone? It's right over, right over here somewhere. So do I want to turn this limestone into anything here? Because limestone can basically be turned into concrete, right? I wonder if I should turn this into concrete on site like we turn other stuff into the into the uh, actual ingots. What's up, FRD? How's that going? Pretty good. You're okay? School is getting started. Your schedule has been nuts. Schedule's been the nuts, huh? They say that in uh, freaking Hearthstone all the time. You got the nuts. So is concrete the only thing that limestone can turn into? Because if it is, I should just I should just choose treat this like it's my smelter, and make as much concrete as we can, and we just have a whole bunch of extra concrete. Unless there's another resource I'd rather get than this. We could get oil, but I don't know if there's any oil around. I guess this would just be another source of concrete, which I think is going to be useful because I could maybe do more industrial beams and stuff, which I have a feeling I'm going to need more of those for some builds. D&D is amazing. Love it. Are you a D&D player? Until like the last six, well, I guess a year or two with playing with Shogi's game. I'd never actually played real D&D, so... All right, so we need two miners for this. Let me get a equipment workshop. Is that the right one? Never remember. Yes, two of these guys. Having fun in Oni in Volcania. Oh, nice, Efferdita. You start. You started a new one, right? Volcania. I bet that's. I bet everything freaking overheats in Volcania. What's the good thing about Volcania? Is there any good? like strong thing about volcano is it at all really tough let's go this way we'll set up a constructor line there or limestone into concrete you think you'll name yourself Ga galen brightburn D, D paladin esquire nice <laughs> lots of magma for power is the good thing okay all right so 240 a minute we want to go to 480 a minute to maximize this. So 480 a minute is the maximum amount of uh, that we can create. Let's do our constructors starting right here. I'm excited though. I'm excited since I've never played a real D&D campaign. I'm really excited about it. So it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. I will say when I play RPGs, sometimes I'm like, God, this is long. We're, we've been we've been here for four hours, and I'm tired. <laughs> These campaigns are long. Uh, is this gonna be enough room? Actually, I might need to go higher. Cause that might be in the way. You know, I think I'm gonna go a little bit higher here. Uh, control. Your oil biome was splitted with magma channels, so it took 500 cycles to dig in. Ooh, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so we got poisony stuff like right there. So if I go about right here, that should be good, I believe. All right, so let's build a constructor so we see how much, how much, how many constructors this 480 limestone a minute can supply. Constructor. Oh, these are slightly bigger than the smelters, though. We can still do these every space, I think. So, this is going to be concrete. 45 limestone per minute. So, 11 constructors worth is what we can do here. That'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got, we got just enough space for that. Cool, nice. There. We're gonna have so many raw, or I say raw resources. Resources. I don't know. That consider concrete really a raw resources, but we are gonna have a lot of resources for our next builds. I know I'm spending a lot of time on just gathering the resources, but I think this is gonna be. Well worth our time. Okay, so these guys are going to be right next to each other. Is that going to be okay? I think that'll be okay.
So I can like jump through here and we put the power lines in between on this corner. That should work. One, two, three, four. Constructor. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Okay. These are all going to be concrete here. Hopefully I didn't forget to set any of my smelters or anything. I think I, I think I did all the setting on those other guys. I believe, I believe. It's already there. Concrete. Alright, so each of these need 45 a minute. I will do the math on how, what kind of belts I need to have the output be, but... Splitters here, so... Uh, we'll start from the, since it's going that way, we'll start from the right side. So, one, two, three, we'll have one go here. That'll be a splitter for that. One, two, three for that one. Two, three for that one, and then we'll need a splitter for these guys. Okay. Alright, so get the splitters in place. Um, we can actually, that's a merger. We can go, like, right in the middle there. Um, actually, no, let's do it like this. Yeah, splitter there. There, and there. Can't you copy the settings of one machine to the other machines? I don't think that's in the game yet. It's another thing that I think has been suggested. This game is still considered early access, so... Uh, but no, that's not yet in the game, sadly. Alright, so we only need Mark 1 belts going to each of these machines. See how many uh, we can fill in before we run out of these guys. Yeah, we're definitely going to run out of these guys. There. But it's a good question. Okay, so we're going to need the, the ones for those guys there. Uh, this game sure doesn't look like it's in early access. Oh, I know, I agree. That's one reason why I enjoy playing it so much. Is because it just... It's just... It's, it's probably the... Prettiest, best graphical game we play on the stream currently. I just really enjoy it. All right, so we're going to have to do uh, a split to a split, right? Uh, so we split one that does one, two, three. And then one that goes, well, let's see. Yeah, so one, if I do one splitter outside of that, splitter would go, I have to split to one to get these three, and then the other to go there. Okay, so we want to go like this. There. I totally agree with you. This does not look like early access. Kind of like Subnautica. When you played, we play Subnautica. Well, when I played it, when it was in early access, it never really looked like early access because the graphics just look so good. All right, and this would be so forty-five times three. It's one thirty-five. One thirty-five times three, four hundred five. So I need Mark Four belts. Well, forty-five times three was 135. So I need Mark 3 belts, I think, go into each of these guys. I believe that's the math. 45 times 3 is 135, so yes. This can handle 135 a minute. Need tier 4 going into that is a thing. Um, there's lots of stuff to do for an early access game, yeah. Do you you even enjoy laying down 50 kilometers of track. <laughs> Do I? Did I? I don't know if I enjoyed it. Um, like I said last time I, uh, on the stream when I was doing it, it was like, at the end of the stream, I was like, I probably, if I was playing this game not on stream, would probably not have had the patience to do all the work it took to get all that done. But, you know, streaming is such a thing where you're like, 
Okay, but this is only doing 45 times 2. That's 90. So this one I could do like Mark Rebuild here. Um, if I wasn't streaming the game, I probably wouldn't have uh, stuck with it because it's just it's so much work. Oh, uh, that needs to be a tier 4. Whoops. Because when I'm not streaming, I often don't play games that are as involved as this. As this and, and uh, Auction Not Included. I usually do things like MMOs where you're, it's character building and stuff, but... Vector is going to be released, I think, tomorrow. Do you plan on streaming it? Vector is another game that didn't seem like it was early access, 100% playable for years. Uh, I have streamed Factorio. I, I'll have to look into what they've added to it. I don't want to change this. I would have to look at what they've added to it because... Um, I like Satisfactory because um, I don't get as overwhelmed, but maybe if I go into Factorio knowing better the game, maybe I won't get as overwhelmed because late game in Factorio, I always feel like I get really overwhelmed. But yeah, maybe we'll have to restream it again once it gets uh, released. Would you say it's, you think, tomorrow? Okay, so that is, that should be everything except those belts into there. So I need lots of Mark 1 belts. Let me lay wires for this to get these things turned on. And we need to go back to our base to pick up some stuff. Do this. I'm going to put a power line here. Plug this in over there. Beautiful. And then bring this power line to plug in our machines over here. Croaching others clearance. There. Uh, trains are enjoyable and hardest thing to do. Well, I am, I am enjoying them being done. <laughs> like the train we have set up is great. Um, what I will say is if I have to try to set up a whole other train track, I don't know, man, that's going to be, it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, hopefully if I do any more train stuff, it'll just be maybe extending my current one, which wouldn't be nearly as hard. I feel like to just add on to it. Laying that initial, initial train foundation line it was just a lot of busy work basically yeah and then this last guy here but the end result's pretty awesome every time this train goes by and i hear it i'm like oh that's so cool here's a tough question how do you efficiently make modular frames you're having a hard time also without overflowing um well modular frames are tough I'm going back to my base to pick up some materials. I'll show you my build. Ozak Games, I'll show you my build. I don't know if I can answer that question easily, but I can show you what I did because I don't remember. I think I... The thing with the uh, later game builds is you. a lot of times you're using stuff you've automated from before, but if you didn't create enough of what you automated before, then you often don't have enough supplies to do it at 100%, if that makes sense. You may be missing valued items. One thing I will say is if you are one of the main kind of gates for doing things efficiently at 100% a lot of the time will be if you don't have the high enough level speed belts. So if you're like working with only tier 2 belts or something and you can't move something that is a lot of resources like um, screws, it's hard to move enough screws quickly. You often have to do multiple belts because you have the, if you have the slower belts and stuff like that. But uh, I'll show you my build. I'm going to go pick up materials so I can show you my uh, heavy modular frames. i got to figure out which floor it's on because I have, I have a very large factory that I can't keep track of where everything is. That factory in, my di in the distance. This is, this is what we have built. God, this is crazy. Every time we go back to it, it's like, this thing is huge. What have we done? What have we created? Alright, this is our factory. How many floors are we up to now? I don't even know. I haven't even extended my uh, hyper tubes up to the last couple four or five floors we've made it. We've made it. We've created. Alright, so i got to figure out where heavy modular frames are being created. So, let me go to the top floor I can go to and then work our way down we'll, and, I'll, and we'll figure out where it is here. Okay. So it'll be a nice little quick tour of our thing, too. So, uh, where's the outputs? Let me see outputs of things. 
this would not be it. This is computer stuff, I think. Yes, yeah, so this entire floor, I think, is to make computers. I think we did heavy modular frames before or after computers. So it would be above or below. Um... Yep, this is the floor for computers. I think I did heavy modular frames after computers. So let me see. It's the next floor up. Um, so it would be the next floor up. This is... No, this is the top floor where we've only created... Ah, oh, what is this making? Ah, yes, the oscillator. So it's the floor down. So it'll be the floor down from computers. Step on down. So right here, are you heavy modular frames? All right, heavy modular frames, and we're not at e we're not even at one hundred percent on heavy modular frames. Myself, fifty three percent because we're not making enough modular frames. So, um, so even my build is not one hundred percent efficient. But I have two manufacturers creating heavy modular frames. The only thing that is backing me up is modular frames, so I might actually be able to improve this efficiency. Um, so let's see. So I have a whole row of s casted screws. So I'm using an alternate recipe to do ironing gets into casted screws. This is quicker production. So that's a, that's a row of those with some being overclocked. Oh, wow. I think I'm doing two rows of casted screws for this. You post a link to YouTube video, effective build of those modular frames. Sure, I've already go for it. See Factorio and Satisfactory being different. Satisfactory is about you building a factory, Factorio. It is so easy to build. That's about the design of the factory, build logic for trains and for the factory, while Satisfactory is about the manual construction of the base. Okay. All right. That's, that's cool. So reinforced, and we got reinforced iron plates. It's at 75%. Is that because you're backed up or because you don't have enough stuff? Looks like you're not quite getting enough iron plates here. So this, uh, which might be affecting my modular frames. Well, I'm not getting enough iron ingots. So this might be a place where I actually supply more materials to increase uh, production. Where am I? Where am I getting my f modular frames from? This probably isn't going to help you, Ozak Games. Ah, here it is. Yeah, so it's not getting the reinforced iron plates fast enough to create the modular frames. So I actually. I have a whole floor that's basically dedicated to heavy modular frames to create two um, manufacturers on them, and I'm not doing a fully efficient one, but maybe FRD's video can help. My issue is I'm not getting enough reinforced iron plates fast enough, which I think is being gated by not getting enough iron ingots fast enough. Let me see here. Where are my reinforced iron plates? So you have enough iron plates. You do not. And you do not. So we're actually not quite getting enough iron plates to this. So does that mean... I think some of my iron plate production was actually not fully... Stocked up. Yeah, so we're not getting enough iron ingots here, actually. Which is interesting, because I was doing the math on all these. You have plenty. You have plenty. This guy's overclocked, but you're not getting the iron. So maybe... Yeah. So these three guys here at the end are not getting enough iron plates. So what I can do is once I finish my current train build, all the extra iron I'm bringing, I can supplement some of these guys that aren't getting enough resources. Many times you don't need to have that kind of build. That is a 100% effective build. It depends on how you play the game. Okay. So, at least for me, mine's not 100% efficient, but... Um, it's just because I, I'm... One raw resource is gating me, the iron, which is part of the reason why I'm doing this build with my trains. This my train to get me more resources. So what I might do after I finish this train build is rather than automate anything else, look at my factory and check anything that doesn't have enough raw resources so I can supplement it with the resources I'm bringing. It'll be kind of a, a good way to go back and 
recheck and fully optimize my build. Fully optimize or increase efficiency in the factory. So that might be something I do. Then manifold system, yes. So the distribution might be a main issue too. Which it might be belt issue. I'm not going to go look at that right now. But yes, I th everything in my factory I'm doing basically a manifold system to supply. The manifold's the one where it's in a line and you're pulling off that line, right? Yeah. Uh, three minutes in the video and you figured out your issue. Oh, nice, Zach. <laughs> All right. There you go. FRD's got the got the good the good tips. All right. So we need concrete. We need case the industrial beams. What else do I need for this? So we got all the constructors we need. We're going to need the miner for the other guy. And a smelter. A bunch of smelters for the iron. I want to do a lot of iron. Excuse me, a lot of iron. So let me go get iron rods for smelters. Extra stack of those. That. All right. So modular frames, I think... Much of the frames using smelters? No. Copper wire. Using the miners. We're only going to do one miner. I think all we need right now is concrete and anything else for belts. So reinforced or in case industrial beams. Get one more stack of steel beams. Steel pipes just to make sure. And then lots of concrete. We should be good. <laughs> you can't do that many cookies, Muno, because you don't have that many cookies. Nobody has that many cookies. Even Shogu, Shogu is probably... Well, Shogu or Renu is probably have the most cookies in the stream. Apart from me, because I never gamble. Okay. All right, so concrete. Uh, let's get the encased industrial beams, and we're just going to fill up the rest of our space with concrete here. Manifold systems likes to oversupply input materials. Like exact math, it doesn't work out. Then you should do load balancing belts. Um, do that. I don't because my entire factory is manifold. I don't think I'm gonna swap over completely. Um, I'll leave one empty space here. Will I? No, I won't. But I do have, I will have one empty space of over there, everything care pace. So I'm probably not going to switch over to a load balance system for my entire factory. With manifold though, I think one issue is I probably didn't have fast enough belts for some of my stuff. And now I do. So I, I have a feeling if I upgrade some belts and get some more resources on these belts, I'll be able to fix my issue with my current build and not have to do like a complete rework of the, you know, of the supply system that I have, basically. I'm just trying to put this away somewhere. There we go. Alright, so let's head back. I'm already making concrete over there. That's true. That's true. Oh, Zach Games, thank you so much for the follow, though. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I am making concrete, so if I run out, I can go grab some over there now, which is useful. You're trying to break the bot, and it didn't work. So sad. Don't break my robot. Deep bot will come for you. I didn't get reinforced iron plates, but I have a good amount, and I'm not using a ton of those. That's fine. Transform into manifold to load balance. That's a lot of work. But if you but oversupplying, yeah. So if I oversupply, which is what I'd been trying to avoid this entire time, but with this, with the train, I feel like the train gives me the tool to oversupply with what I'm doing in a way that's not doesn't feel as wasteful. Um, my issue, the reason I haven't been oversupplying for all my other builds is because I want to do the math the entire time so that every anytime I upgraded a build or every time I added a new build, if I was just pulling off of my oversupply, I would never know if I'm running out. So I'm a little surprised that I'm running out on the iron, but it's probably, probably because when I did the heavy modular frames build, I had to overclock some things to get thing to get the spacing right and i might have when i overclocked it didn't fully do the math to get enough iron to it so hopefully we can fix that you don't think the bot solves equations you try to do an overflow error oh god okay 
All right, so this is that stuff. There's there's uh, there's where we're headed right there. All right, so let's get limestone turned into concrete and sent to our base, and then we just have the iron one to do, and we will have we will have a crap ton of raw resources we can send to our base, which is gonna be awesome for our, our next builds. Because hopefully I won't have to do any more of these um, any more of these long belts anymore. Okay, so that's all good. So we're supplying it to. It's up there. So we're going to need to do merging here. There. Okay, so each of these are producing only 15 a minute, right? Yeah, so 15 a minute. So let's do... Um, is that the middle? It's the middle, so that's one, two, three. Then one, two, three. Three, then one, two, three. So right here. And then these guys will merge here. Ouch. Okay, so 15 a minute. So each of these can be a Mark 1. Do the math on what the belts out, out of this will need to be. 15 times 3 is, what, 45? So I can do even Mark 1s from this to the next merger. There. All right, so 15 times 3 is 45, so 45 five plus 45 will be 90. So each of these will be a Mark 1 belt to the next merger. And then out of that, we'll, I think, only need to do a Mark 3 belt. If I do this, so we'll merge those three, and then one more merger in front of that, and then we'll send that up to up top where it needs to go. So merger. There, I believe. Yep, so 15 times 3 is 45, so mark 1. Mark 1. Mark 1. So this is uh, 45 times 3. I only need a mark... Well, I think I do need a mark 3 belt here. So the mark 3 from here to a merger in front of that guy. And then that merger's output to go up there, and we should be good. So we'll do a merger here between these guys. So you can be a Mark 1. And then you will be a Mark 3 belt going from there. Uh, really? It's barely too short. Okay, it's fine. Into there. And then what is the total output of all these guys? 45 times, or no, it's 15 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How many, how many of these guys did I do? I for, already forgot. I think 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11 times 15. 165. Uh, let's do Mark 3 belt. It's fine. The belts out of the manufacturers seem to back up a little bit. Uh, are you talking about back at my base? They were backing up. Yeah, the, it could be. It could be a case of belts backing up. If that's the issue, that's actually probably the easiest issue to fix with uh, with my the build that I want to work on that I want to upgrade. There's there's probably a couple builds like that back at my base because I only got the Mark IV belts like fairly recently, actually. Uh. We do a little bit of a bridge across here. A bridge over troubled water. Okay, let's do this guy. There we go. I like this. Bridge here so I can just walk across and also... 
have a place for my belt to go. Um, vertical or horizontal stacking mergers with more than three inputs seems like they would be useful. I wonder if they might implement something like that. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, where am I going in here? I'm going in the other side over there, so I need to go over and across here. Damn, I might... They don't run up tier three belts. Okay, so the input, what I can do is have a vertical loader on the other side over there. So let me do some sort of. Let's have plenty of concrete. This will be like a foundation that'll hold up, hold up my train station, but then I can also build off of it to. Um, have a bridge kind of across here so uh, kind of an undercarriage type thing or something uh no right here after those these manufacturers oh these oh after these constructors i think there's something backing up there well they were backing up because they had nowhere to go currently that was the reason they were backing up the okay, iron pier so let's have this one be on this right side so, let me do... Can I fly up here? Yes, I can. Okay, so... Uh, we'll do Mark three belts going in. Um, how am I going to do... Okay, and then we'll have a vertical loader going up to that one. Okay, cool. So, this will be vertical loader... We're going to have a splitter set up. So yeah, if I have a splitter set up right there, and have this guy go like this, we'll have to figure out the exact placement, but that's, that's how we'll do that. And then we'll have a splitter. Right. Lined up with this guy. there. Does that fit? Yep. There. And then beautiful. Actually, let's have it go to the middle of this thing. Look better, I think. I do that. 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 To there. All right, and that'll be loading concrete up there. I just need to get this other guy plugged in. Almost have the spacing right. Hopefully this will hook onto it like I want it to. Ah, I was afraid of that. Okay. Okay, so that's lined up right next to it. Now let's see if I can line this up perfectly here. I think that's right. There. Is that right? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, almost right. Not quite right, actually. All right. Let's let's stand down here so I can get this placed correctly, exactly how I want it to be. I'm gonna be slightly anal about this. Slightly. Is that right? Is that lined up there? I don't think that's right. Is it? Oh, actually, that was right. Isn't it? Yes, okay. Kind of hard to tell because it doesn't place the, um... doesn't place the little black extender, whatever you call that thing, when you're placing this. So I think, I think that's right. Okay. There we go. And just to make sure that's plugged in. That is... Damn it, it's the same wrong place. I can't line... Why, why are you so hard to line up, video game? Oh my god. Is that lined up? Okay, so I need to go back one space than I think it is because that little extender thing's not there and I can't tell. So I think it's there. That is what it should be. I believe, God, please be right. 
and then right there wrap and that's gonna go down but we did that lined up correctly okay that lined up correctly oh my god this is this is dumb that's so hard to line up here i feel like there should be easier ways to visualize things lining up in this game use up all my gas is going back and forth here okay there please please be right go straight in and it's lined up. There it is. Okay. That's a GG cookie time. <laughs> oh, freaking hell. Okay. There we go. And that's just to hopefully get get concrete into there faster. All right. Let me go make sure that um, what you were saying, Kawhi, is not happening. Like they're not backed up over here. We got there in the end. It just took some work. Took some freaking work. Okay. This isn't even a fully saturated belt, but that's okay. Um, you're right. These are backing up some. Um, like, if that ever backs... If those guys back up, that means we're not at full efficiency. So, maybe I need a tier 4 belt here. If I do tier 4 belt... Let me do... Um, I'll do even do three tier three belts there and there. Tier three belt there. Let's make sure everything, nothing backs up. Oh, it's going to be now backed up at this. So let's do this. That means I got to upgrade these to tier four belts all the way across. Or else it's going to back up there anyway. Anywhere it's a slower belt. Good eye, though. Good eye on that stuff backing up. So once it gets to the splitter, that should be fine, because that'll... Uh, that's two, three, two tier threes coming out of that, and two tier threes can handle a tier four belt. Now let's see what that does. Hopefully that will have nothing back up. <laughs> Mark two after the first mergers. Yeah, I might, I might need to upgrade the belts after some of these mergers, too, but let me check if anything's backing up. Okay, so that is backing up. Well. There, that's a tier three, and that's why. You know what? I think what I need to do is actually have this one merge with this guy. Because we are still getting a little back up there. We've got three going. And if I had this guy going to this guy's third slot, it'd spread it out a little bit, maybe? Okay, well, that one's not backing up anymore, but those guys are. What's up, Cthulhu? Um, that would just be redistributing the load. Would that help at all? Uh, yeah, Cthulhu, sure. Uh, since I don't even know what those symbols are, I'll be sure to answer you in a coherent fashion um yeah let me change this let me do let me do this uh, I'm going to do this put a merger right here it goes like uh actually I guess I can do it I don't want to do this. I'll do like this. Okay. And then these two would still be Mark 1s. And this guy would be... Let's do just Mark 3 just to make sure we're not st stopped by slower belts. Okay. Let's see here. Why, why the hell did that stop that? Okay. Okay. Alright, do I still see stuff backing up? These guys, of course, aren't backing up because I guess they're not... I don't know. You're not backing up. That one right there is still backing up. I think I, think I do need to upgrade that belt right there. 
There we go. Uh, my nose. Okay, I don't think I see anything backing up. I think we got this flowing. Right? That, uh, that got rid of that bottleneck. I think that's good. Yeah, clean. It's super clean. So everything is running. So basically, we're making as much concrete as we can with that fully overclocked limestone thing. Okay, very nice. All right, so the last thing to do is just go get this pure iron and send a crap ton of iron. And we will have five different resources being sent back to our base via train in a very cool, cool fashion. It's the most important thing. This is cool. All right, so head over to this iron. Get the pressure you're removing fertilizer sacks to create your own Beirut, Texas City situation. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's similar. It's similar. This is, yeah, it's totally fertilizer. <laughs> it's for all that, you know, Texas, uh, Texas Longhorn beef. We gotta, we gotta get it. We gotta get that Texas Longhorn beef shipped. And fertilized and fed and stuff. Okay, so iron by the ocean. Let's go get it. So we're gonna bring it over to there and then throw it up to there. So we're gonna have some, uh, yeah, there it is. We're gonna have some smelting to do here. Wasn't fireworks? <laughs> we're not creating fireworks? Oh, oh, you're talking about, oh, oh, Beirut, the whole explosion thing. Yeah, what was that? Was I don't mean to laugh because I didn't know what you were talking about at first. I forgot about the whole Beirut explosion thing. What was that? All I saw were some, like, videos on YouTube of people with their, you know, cell phone cam seeing some giant explosion. So I need uh, two miners for this. Do we know what that was? Was it was it fireworks? Demonium nitrate, huh? I was say, fireworks don't explode like that. what that looked like, I don't think. Not that I'm an expert on any type of explosives, but... Okay, so this is going to be a minor mark two. I'm going to do some smelting kind of in that clearing right there. We'll send it that way. It was some chemicals that were poorly stored, you think? Beirut was ammonium nitrate, just like the Texas City disaster, the largest non-nuclear man-made explosion ever. The Texas City disaster. I guess I'm not familiar with that. Texas City. Is Texas City in Texas? I should probably know this, but... Okay, so we want to do this up to 480. Oh, wait, this is... Is this pure? This is normal. Where's the pure? Wait, how much further? Okay, there's a normal iron here. But there's a pure over here. Okay, so we have actually had normal one. I didn't mark this one. Okay, well, let me make a marking of this one then. Okay, we got a normal here that I'm... Probably not going to use. Iron. Normal. By station, we'll say. Okay. Uh, fertilizer, a.k.a. the dual-use stuff used to build bombs. Uh, that was copper? No, this is iron. No, I'm stupid. It's copper. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for subscribing. You're right. I just missed it. Your good call. Um, Agarath with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the three months in a row and the seven months prime uh, subbed. I really appreciate that, my friend. Keep being awesome. I will keep doing what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm awesome or not, but I will keep doing what I'm doing. All right. I fix that. Copper normal by station. Okay, good. All right, so we need to smelt this over that direction then. Okay. Minor mark two. In that direction. Okay, these rocks I don't think will get in the way of a, of a belt. So this one I think we just need two overclockers to get 480. Yeah, and that's the maximum our belts can handle. All righty, so 480 divided by 30. So 16 smelters we need to build, so let's see here. I don't want to get in the way of the copper in case I ever do use that, so I'd want to start 
like here and go that way. I would just need to get the right height. So our copper's there. We started about here, and hopefully that wouldn't overlap, and then we go up. I thought I could place this if I jump and nerd pull it. I've nerd pulled before. I guess maybe I need my jetpack for this. Uh, Aria Fald is second or third something. The largest wasn't in England during World War II. One, explore, one explosive storage fleet exploded. Uh, it, like the one in Canada, was military munitions. Oh, wow. God, I swear, you know so much random stuff, uh, Cthulhu. Toyed around with hyperspace mod, and that's some revolutionary, revolutionary sh isn't it right there? Infinite ships, custom races, you're drooling. Okay. Well, uh, Math Champ has been telling me I need to do it. I think, I think, I think next week I'm doing his first modded ship using uh, hyperspace, so we might have to get into some revolutionary sh stuff with that. Too much time on the internet, what? Oh, <laughs> you're talking about Cthulhu, knowing all this random stuff. Too much time on the internet. Well, you could probably find out this stuff without being on the internet. It's just way easier to find it out on the internet. It's the information age after all. After all, you know, tis the information age. It is the dawning of the age of information. Age of information. 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 Not quite how that song go, goes, but something like that. Smelter. Um, I think I want this slightly more forward. Is that where it was? That was where it was. Um... Okay, it's not quite where I want it to be. I want you to be a little bit more forward. Okay, I guess I can't place this exactly how I want it to be, but we'll go with that. We'll do that. All right, so I needed 16 smelters. Information is power. You didn't know the Tixley City one was AN and you live right by it? AN? Uh, fireworks do explode in unexpectedly violent ways when you store enough of them together. See the 2015 disaster in Tunjin. What's A N? Where is that? Van Hammer. Oh, did we get a? Did we get a bot? One, two, three, four, five. We've been getting a lot of those lately. Six or more than normal. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well can't go any further that way so I guess I'm gonna have to go this way some and hope we don't hope we can work around the copper if we ever need to so one two th let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen all right that's fine good thing we're making co concrete out here because I'm actually gonna have to use Use some of this concrete, I think. Go grab some extra concrete, most likely. Oh, ammonium nitrate. That's what AN is. Okay. Your brother was stationed in Lebanon until a few weeks ago. Don't know if he was close to Beirut. That was crazy, though. With how crazy big that explosion was, from what I saw, it didn't look like too many people got killed it was more injuries but i don't know great song though that is a great song uh age of aquarius i'd never heard that song until i was in high school band and um we our marching band um theme either the year i my freshman year or eighth grade year one of those years was a 70s theme and we played like house of the rising sun and Inagata, Inagata De Vida, a bunch of the big 70s, you know, popular songs or whatever. 
There's a really strong blast wave. Yeah, it looked crazy. FTL can be terrifying. Sometimes you're just forced to go through a sun with one HP. Woo! That is scary. And did you live? <laughs> Hopefully these are all lined up correctly. Is there any end goal for this game or just play as long as you want? <laughs> so many people ask that. Um, currently, this game is still in early access. Um, and currently, there's still work in progress things in the game that look like might have to do with an end game goal. But I don't think as of now there is an end game goal. There's some like alien artifacts that you see in the world that you can collect, but you can't do anything with them yet. So I think those are going to have to do. I don't know if it's going to be like a Subnautica thing where, you know... You have to get off the planet or what, but the story of the game is that you're just, you're basically mining a planet for resources and sending it into space for the corporation you work for. So I don't know what the end game would be. It'd be something like you wake up some alien thing or something. I don't know. I have no idea what the plan is for that. Um, about 6,000 injured and the numbers of dead vary. I think the last count was 150 or 170. For that blast wave, that's fewer dead than... Could have been, so that's kind of good that it wasn't as bad as I guess it could have been, but still, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so splitters got these set up. So splitter there. One, two, splitter. There, we're gonna move this thing over one space so I can get up here and have the splitter where I want it to be. Splitter, I just met her. Okay, so there, there. And there. So one, two, three. Oh, this isn't even in the right place anyway. It needs to be in front of this one. Okay, so one, two, three, and then it'll be in front of this one. All right. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. And then one, two, three. One of these times will work out to be the exact number so I can have my splitters set up, but it is not this time. House of the Rising Sun, another great song, yeah. House of the Rising Sun. Uh, is that the name of that song? There was a boy from New Orleans. I think that's the name of the song. What's interesting about that song is I actually, you know, I'm in a couple of classical choirs like that would do like actual you know classical choir stuff and we sang a version of that song that was I was like I thought this was just a pop song but I think that song was originally like a kind of like us like spirituals are like maybe originally like one of those songs sung by slaves in the US or something like that I'm not sure um, you don't know why, but you constantly confuse with with if. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so that's gonna be those guys. These guys are each gonna be thirty a minute. So mark one belts. Let's get the belts set up. I'm guessing Moonho. Then English is not your first language. Then I would I would hope so. <laughs> oh come on, let me get in here. Plant in the way. If English is your native language and you get if and with mixed up, you, you might need to take a refresher course or something. Okay, there we go. Of course, I say that, and oftentimes I speak so fast in my stream when I go back and watch my highlights. I'm like, how can anybody understand what the hell I'm saying? And then I mix up words and stuff just because I'm talking so fast. I probably can't make any any comments on people's English. Your first language is Portuguese. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, so there's going to be one in front of those three. And then one in front of these three. Well, that should do it. Okay. A splitter there. And then a splitter. Right there. Right there. 
Talking speedrun any percent. <laughs> I have the world record. Actually, no, the guy who's got the world record is... For anybody who grew up in the 90s with those the Micro Machines guy. Anybody remember the Micro Machines commercials from the 90s? But go faster. He just talks really fast about Micro Machines. Imagine someone's first language was programming language. Us <laughs> Rising Sun is originally by the animals in 1964. Those look like white people. I'm pretty sure FRD dot. I don't think that's the original version of that song. I could be wrong though. I feel like they might have been doing a, you know, kind of like I think Elvis got accused a lot of times of his his songs being like he took from like popular African American uh, singers or uh, people songs and like adapting them. You know, he he did his own original versions of the songs, but he he was taking songs from the African American tradition kind of thing. And that's what I think House of the Rising Sun might be, but I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, according to Wikipedia, it's a traditional folk song. See, that's I thought it was something like that. Traditional folk song. Alright, so I need a splitter to go for that one and that one. So I need one splitter from this guy. Um, so if I do a splitter, like, right here, I can go to those guys. I bet you, I bet you that's the case for a lot of popular songs, that they were originally some sort of folk song that some popular artist, you know, took and made their own version to become famous, and people think that's the original version, because that's just how, how a lot of music happens. Uh, I've seen videos of people inside shops when the wave hit, tossed about almost like ragdoll between glass broken furniture, but supposedly no one died and they were only injured, so it seems humans can stand more than we think if we're lucky enough to not hit anything the wrong way. It's pretty crazy. House of Rising Sun was said to have been known by miners in 1905. The oldest published version of the lyrics is that printed by Robert Winslow Gordon in 1925. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's cool. All right. So 30, 90, 90 times 3 is 270. So this is going to be a Mark IV belt. Which these are 90. So I can do Mark threes each of these guys, I believe. There. 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 Uh, so much earlier than what you found, FRD. I guess it would have been wor worse if more houses and stuff had collapsed. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do a, um, we're gonna do a little Mark IV lift conveyor here. Have this go to here. And then have this guy go up over to this one. Oh god. Oh god. I hear you. Oh, there's a slug. Oh, I tried to activate a thing. Are you stuck on something, sir? How about I kill you for it? Huh. Just a random slug here. Very nice. I'll take a slug. Yeah, I bet, I bet there's a lot of popular songs out there. Well... I guess it depends on, like, the era. There was probably an era, there are different eras of music where people used more, you know, folk songs. Like, I think, um, like, Simon and Garfunkel wrote original music, but a lot of their music was inspired by folk songs, I think, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, so then Mark III's here. There's probably a lot of, lots of eras of music where they were just, where folk music was super popular, so they were inspired by folk music for their for their original songs that they wrote okay so that should be all of that set up so let's 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 get power to all this so i need to get power from over uh my stations up here somewhere right nope oh, something else is attacking okay god freaking Attacking you in the weeds over here. We're in the weeds, everybody. We're in the weeds. Yes, I still need to get a power line from over here. Just a random slug on a planet. Just a random slug. 
Let's see if I can jump up here with my jetpack. Come on, jetpack. Get up there. Get up there. All right, we made it. Lots of pop songs are remakes when you wouldn't think them to be. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely, definitely true. You can definitely, if you look up, if you look up this title on YouTube, you will find many videos. Um, your favorite pop songs are actually remakes. If you look up something like that, it'll say, it'll be like top 10 pop songs that are actually remakes that you didn't know or something like that. I've definitely seen titles like that for videos, so. Right, where's my sta- Oh, I'm going to the wrong station. It's over here. Okay. I've even watched parts of some of those videos, and they're definitely, um, what is the word? Um, clickbait titles. But sometimes it's stuff like that's interesting to watch, even though it's clickbait. Okay. Nowadays, people are creatively bankrupt. God. You know what? I, you say that, facts told you. And you say no offense. The thing is, I'm pretty sure people say that about every time period they live in. I'm pretty sure back in the 20s, they said, nobody's writing new music anymore. You know, we're all just copying Mozart or something, or whoever was popular back then. I... I don't know. I think I think people always say that because there's this like complex that humans just have that the olden days were better days. It's just kind of a thing. I remember back in my day when, God, I loved school when I was there. I there was, it was so much simpler back in my time. And you know, I, I feel like I feel like people say that and it's like, just like. I think all times are comparable, not exactly the same. I won't say they're all the same, but. To say that things are less creative now than they were a long, long time ago. There are some people now that are making things that I think are very creative. I don't think there's just no creativity anymore. That's called nostalgia. Generational cycle. Survivorship bias. Okay. There's actually a term for that, huh? <laughs> Survivorship bias, huh? I won't disagree with you that there are many things that are very uncreative that people do and call it original work, but I don't think now it's any worse than it's ever been in our history. I mean, the only time you could probably say that things were all perfectly original was, I don't know, back when we were in caves coming up with language for the first time. And even then they were probably just copying grunts from before or something. I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Let's plug in all this stuff. Just unlock the overclock power. Didn't know this existed. Super useful. That game's super useful. Um, be careful with it. Um, don't abuse that power. <laughs> with much, which power comes great power comes great responsibility, as Stan Lee would say. Basically, the most efficient use of those is to put them on things that give you resources. So, um, the best things to overclock are miners. Like, we just overclocked our iron mine. That's the best use of them, in my opinion. It's not the only place I've used them. There are times when I've needed, for space reasons, to overclock a constructor or something, but the miners and extractors and stuff are the best place to use those things. Generally considered, I think. You can't disprove that, but this time around, it's more true than any recent times. Disney and the video games industry are just rem remaking or remastering games more than any other times. All right. I love how you have absolutely no evidence to support that, but it just feels that way. <laughs> Again, I don't disagree that it always feels that way, but I have a feeling it's not any worse than any other time. So, you know, you can certainly feel that way, but I'm just going to... Go ahead and we'll agree to disagree. Uh, you have nothing against remasters, remakes, but they're becoming increasingly abundant. Um, well, I guess that is a discussion we could have is if, like, the film media is doing more and more of that. Um, let's see, is this split going to be even? Hopefully it will be. That's definitely a discussion if, like, in certain medias, it's more prevalent than it's been in other times. But uh, as a just general blanket statement, I don't think everything is less original nowadays. 
kind of thing. Okay, so one, two, three. Let's get these com combined here. So this guy here. So that'll be for that guy. So this guy here. For that guy. And then this guy here. And then this guy here. And then that last one will be there. Uh, I used to be with it, but then they changed what it, it was. Now, what I'm with isn't it, and what it's, what it, what's it seems weird and scary to me, and it'll happen to you too. <laughs> That's Grandpa Simpson. There you go. You got it. Back in my day, everything was original, and we all, we all liked the same things, and nobody disagreed, and we all liked the same president. Thank you for the What's up, a likable party? Appreciate that follow. Welcome to the stream. Do the shards run out? Uh, yes, but there are a lot of them on the map. There are lots and lots of slugs. I currently have 41 on me, and I've probably used that many or more already. So it'll be a while before you run out. If you, especially if you make a concerted effort to go find more. All right, so Mark... Mark 1's going here. Do the caveman need to pay royalty for the use of the unique grunt? <laughs> Crap, is this a splitter? Did I just do splitters when I needed to do mergers? I think I did, damn. And Blurly, thank you for the follow, appreciate it. Remakes have always existed. Back to the caveman, probably, yes. I don't know why I keep saying caveman, but you know. I'm, I'm guessing back in the 70s, they were saying, you know, Star Wars is just a remake of, what was it, like, inspired by, um, I forget there was some sci-fi thing, that it was, it was like Butch Cassidy and some space thing, Flash Gordon or something that I've never seen, but only heard of in reference to Star Wars was inspired by it, you know? They probably said Star Wars wasn't originally original when it came out, you know? It's like, I feel like every every generation is gonna say X isn't original, it's just a remake or a rehash or whatever, a remaster of X. How's my day going? Pretty good, likeable, likeable party. Pretty good. We're just, we're just getting lots and lots of resources today. Sent to our base by train is what we're working on today. And then after that, we're going to maybe do some actual uh, automation stuff. Uh, what's crazy is how much money they want for the so-called remasters that only support higher resolution. Maybe have re-encoded music and have a couple chat cheat features. Still, they want 20 bucks and more for games that paid for itself several times over when it was originally released. Okay, you're talking about remix of video games. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. So I need two... Uh, a merger and then a merger. I think I only need two mergers here. If I do a merger there, a merger. Nope, that's not where I wanted it to go. Right there. I would be interested to see if there's like some article about. Uh, let's see, 30, so that's 90, so let's do Mark, let's do Mark 3 here. There's, like, some article about number of remakes by year or something like that, that, you know, shows that there really are more remakes and less original things on X year or something. That would be interesting to see. Okay, so I can just merge that one with this one and we'll be good. But just saying it seems like or Oh uh, wait, no, I do have to do three here, so crap, this needs to be here. Feel like it's I think I use this word a lot, and hopefully I'm using it correctly. Seems a little disingenuous to me to say that there's less original stuff nowadays than there used to be. I guess technically would that um would that technically be true because no matter, like, as long as you're in the future, there's technically less stuff than there was in the past to make that would be original? I guess technically you could be correct, which is the best kind of correct, maybe. But, again, that would assume, I guess, that 
there's not an infinite number of unique things that you can create. Does that make sense? Uh, okay, so I need a mark for... I mean, if there is an endless number of unique things in the galaxy because the galaxy is infinite, maybe... Maybe there is not a limit to how many unique things there could be in the galaxy. I don't know. We're getting into, like, existential discussion here, probably. Uh, with information being more accessible than any other time period before us, the visibility of remakes just makes... must may just be greater than the actual volume. Okay. I'm going to do Mark IV because I'm not exactly sure what I need here, and so we'll just use our best belts to hopefully avoid backup. Once we complete this, we'll check if there's backup, kind of like we checked on the concrete. Bear belt is too long. Okay. All right, so then we need to bring this back to the train station. Okay. Uh, I just woke up, and now all I hear is some deep philosophical stuff. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That happens sometimes in our stream. We either talk about food or deep... The deepest philosophical questions in the galaxy. There's no in between. It's either food or that. Or politics, and I have to, like, forcefully say stop talking about politics. Okay, so we're going to do this, and we're going to do a, um... Oh god, I'm almost out of fuel. Okay, I didn't use it. Realize I've been using so much fuel jumping around here. Okay. Okay, there. So we're going to do a... Do this guy. Uh, how tall can you go? Eh, pretty tall. Okay, let's do that and hope it can reach some place. No. Oh, frickin' frick I fell. Frickin' frick I fell and I'm almost out of fuel. Frickin' frick I fell and I'm almost out of fuel. Our galaxy is one tiny galaxy from billions of galaxies. Yeah. Mark 4 should be fine. 30 per smelter, 30 times 60 equals 480. Yeah, well, that's the math I did, so hopefully it's right. All right, well, I'm out of fuel, so... I can't do too many more straight vertical jumps here. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I'm out of fuel right there. Okay. Okay, where am I going is the question. Up here. Okay, all right. So if I can do a nice bird's eye view over here. Okay, we can do something like this. Go up. Do a vertical guy to the level we want about right here. Beautiful, okay. And then let's do, let's build a thing across here so I don't you know, run out of fuel in the middle of a jump and die as we try to get this set up. Okay. Oh, I'm out of concrete. Okay, well, we're making concrete. Let's go pick up some. And hope I can get back over here. Oh, God. Don't want to mess with you. Yes. Um, Mark, uh, there's technically a limit of matter, so Rand is correct, being a limit on original creation, but no matter entropy will kill it all. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Actually, I have some stored up here, so I should just go up here to, to get concrete. It should be... Unless it's all been taken back to my base. How much we're making, I probably... I probably need to actually grab enough just to make a ramp to get up here right now, actually. Okay, I can't pick up any of this. Come on. Come on, it's, it's going by too fast on these belts. Good. Ah, right, here we go. I can just look at the belt and I can grab it off of there. Good. Listen to that. That's so cool to hear that train go up there. That's super cool. Okay, so let me build a way to get up here and then go grab concrete. Although, super cool. The train is there, but he's taking all my resources. Darn you, train, taking all my resources. Taking all my resources. Oh, uh, that's not going to work. 
Do that. There. There we go. Now I can get access up here. All right. Well, we got some concrete we can grab here. Let this fill up a bit. Choo-choo train. That's right. Imagination is to a point limited by human experience. So people in the future will come up with new stuff based on what they experience in their time. But in general, it becomes hard to be original because a lot was already thought of by other people. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, well, I mean, I know it's hard to say that people have original experiences and as, like, society progresses, there will be new things to experience because we will have new technology. I mean, I guess the one constant of the human experience is change, death, the change or something. Everything changes all the time, so... Um, crap, I need to get up here to set that up. To set that up. So, uh, there should always be new stuff to experience, therefore new inspiration for new ideas and creations. Maybe. But if you took it to its logical conclusion, eventually we might run out or something? I don't know. It's kind of like... I feel that it's kind of like, um... Like the heat death of the universe. Theoretically, that's the case. But for that to actually happen is not practically ever gonna happen, kind of thing. The or the heat death or cold death, whichever one it is of the universe. Whichever one happens, we'll probably never experience it because of the crazy amount of time for that to actually ever happen. Okay, so I want to do this, see if I can get this set up the first time, this time. I think it's there. Yay, all my practice from her messing up stuff earlier finally benefited us here. All right, so we want to do a splitter. Five. Like I said, the deep, we, we have the deep philosophical questions around here. Discussions. Splitter. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go mark three belt. From there to there. And we just plug this guy in and we are good, man. We will have gotten all those resources. All them resources. The resources. We have iron, we have concrete, we have steel, we have copper, and we have. One other one. Caterium. We have a train with lots of resources, man. Uh, you're not talking so much about original ideas in general standpoint. There can be one million identical gamers games for all I care. You just don't make all of them the same franchise. Okay. I feel like we're having a different discussion, Fax told you. I feel like we're having a different discussion, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to check if that's if any of that stuff's backing up, but I can't really get back over here because I'm out of fuel. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a ramp from here going down. So we got all that concrete. I'm talking about philosophical, you know, theoretical um, I don't even know what I'm saying. I can't even talk very well. Theoretical end of original ideas, and you're talking about I don't know. I don't. Uh, more general stuff that's happening today, kind of thing. Oh, I fell. Ow. All right. Well, I'm not dead. Let me heal before I do die. Okay. Uh, Mark three is two hundred fifty, two hundred forty minutes. No, it's two hundred seventy, which is weird. Because it doubled them all, it doubled to tier two, and then tier three became a little bit more than double, but it has to do with, I think, some smelting rates or something, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, almost there, okay. Okay. Let's see if any of these are backed up, because this shouldn't be backed up unless we need to change out some belts. Okay. 
I didn't heal up with that inhaler? That is weird. <laughs> I, I used the inhaler. Did we already fill up the storage? I'm not going to be able to tell. If, if this is all backed up, I'm not going to be able to tell if I get all my belts right. Why are you backed up? Surely we didn't already fill up that storage already. Oh man, if we did, that's actually really good because that means we are getting a crap ton of iron really fast. In the end, it's a math problem. I mean, with 7 billion having decades to think stuff up, how can you assume that your thoughts are truly unique? Yeah. Okay, now it's moving. Wait, did I miss up something? Why wasn't that moving before? Was it a visual blog? A visual blog? Was it a visual blog? I couldn't see it move because of a visual blog. All right, I want to I want to make sure everything's flowing. Get a little more concrete so I can finish up that last little thing down there. Build it up already, giggity. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough for now. Uh, let me go see. My iron's filled up already. I don't know why it wasn't moving there. You want to make sure you're still producing your match. You should. Put some storage here too. Well, this these freight things are storage, basically. Oh yeah, we're not even close to filled up. Why wasn't it moving? That had to be a visual bug. It had to be a visual thing, because it's it's filling. It's definitely filling up there. Okay. Alright, so let's go make sure all our belts are upgraded to the right levels to to actually um Be working at full capacity over here. Yeah, I think it's moving. I think it was moving. It was just I have a feeling it just it was it was a visual thing here. Okay. All right, so these are kind of getting backed up here. Blowing pretty well. I feel like it's these belts here that I need to increase. So let's go to am I using Mark Threes? I am using Mark 3s there. I need to go Mark 4s, I guess, maybe? Not that one. These guys. That's a Mark 4. Because the outputs definitely don't need to be... The outputs from the machines themselves only do 30 a minute. I definitely only need Mark 1s there. Let's do Mark 4 belts all along there. I guess maybe because it's not evenly distributed or something. Um, we got a fully saturated Mark IV belt. You can see right there, I believe. I'm going to spend a little bit of time with this, but these are these are basic resources I'm going to be using for future builds. So I want them to be as efficient as possible. I think they're all backed up, so I think we're good. Let me make sure none of these are... Backed up supply-wise. Okay. Looks good. It, it might even out eventually. Um, let me actually do Mark IVs in a couple other places, like there. There. All these guys here to make sure they're supplying quickly enough. Those are Mark IVs. Hopefully I didn't just pick a bunch of iron crap. Uh, good. All right, so I think I think that's good. I think we got that's a GG cookie time, my friends. We're gonna GG cookie time. We got five very valuable resources. Basically, the building blocks of all the builds we're gonna be doing, and we have a lot of it. That's gonna be super useful for next build. So we're gonna head back home, take our first break of the day, and then we'll see about. What we do with these resources. I think what I wanted to do the first thing was supplement some of our builds at back at home that are not at full efficiency because they're missing some resources. Have I traded the HEB brand cookies? No, sadly. Sarcastic Gill. 
In Dallas, H-E-B does not exist, or at least not anywhere close to where I am. I think... I think the companies that own... There's a train here. Oop, I can get on the train. I think the companies that own, like, H-E-B have, like, an agreement with some other grocery store where they won't poach each other's stuff, like Albertsons or Kroger or something, because... There are no HEBs near me. Oh, Central Market is from the HEB line of stores? Okay, well, I never go to Central Market. I guess I'll have to go to Central Market and get their brand of cookies. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that HEB and Central Market were connected. Central Market was always the more, you know, higher priced. Well, not quite Whole Foods, but higher end than, like, you know, Target or... What's the other place that I sometimes go to? Tom Thumb or something. <laughs> I think the nearest H-E-B to DFW is in Irving. Well, and I... my uh, Where my brother lives down in Waco, they do have a bunch of H-E-Bs there, so... I, thing is, he doesn't buy cookies like I do, so he wouldn't have cookies for me to get to try. <laughs> but I'll have to try them. I'll have to remember, at some point I need to go to Central Market and try the... whatever their off-brand cookies are called. They must be good if you're asking me about it. I'll tell you though, the Target off-brand that I use is called Market Pantry. And their chewy chocolate chip cookies pretty darn good. Pretty darn good, man. All right, so we're gonna hit, we're gonna get off at our base here. I'm gonna check how our power is doing and we'll decide what we'll do next uh, when we come back for the break. So let's see, let's see power-wise how we're looking here at our base. Um, where is a power line I can just go look at real quick? Probably over here. Need to get some more fuel for our, uh, our jump thing, too. We're spiking up to... Still not spiking up that much. I guess it gets backed up. I'm curious if we are completely filled on all these resources. Copper, Caterium, Steel, uh, Concrete, and... I should see Iron coming out of here. There we go, and the iron, that's awesome. And hopefully I set this up so that we're all only getting one of each material here. Concrete's already full. Steel's already full. This is gonna be a great source of re resources. That is super cool. Look at all those resources we're getting, all supplied by our train. That is super awesome. Uh, Central Market is the upscale version of the HEB, but yeah, the HEB branded cookies are pretty good. There's several different types as well, nice. All right, my, my friends, real quickly, I'm going to stand up, start to use restroom, take my first break of the day. Thank you all so much for watching. If there's anybody new to the stream, please hit the follow. Hope you're enjoying Satisfactory. We're satisfactorily getting a lot of resources. Since I haven't heard that pun in chat today, I guess I'll have to make it myself and then yell at myself. Why did you do that, Rand? I hate that pun. But uh, when we come back, we will see about using these resources and then maybe do some automating today. So y'all rock, quick, six, six, four, advance. We'll come back. We'll work on more stuff. See you in a bit, my friends.